Ryan Thompson here, and I'm joined by Michael Ketching and Robert Clanton. Uh, guys, just talk about last week's win against Northern Michigan. Michael, we'll start with you. Okay, last week was a great team win, I think, overall. Um, the guys, honestly, lived up to what we could be as a team. Um, the team that we played was super physical. They were fast, flying all over, and uh, we just found ways to get the win. Um, Robert, how about you? Um, it was a very tough team. Uh, every team in the GLIAC is going to be a dog fight. Mm -hmm. uh, our coaches gave us a great g game plan for that week, and uh, we just came out and executed a fly around and being physical. You know, defensive as a whole, you guys are still the top-ranked uh, unit in Division Two, but you have a lot of newcomers. So talk about the transition with some of those guys and how that's been able to mesh. Just during camp, we was just uh, preaching execution and, uh, you know, doing the game plans that the coaches would give us. Uh, it was kind of tough with newcomers and everybody learning new plays and stuff, but everybody's coming along pretty good. You know, for you personally, three and a half sacks so far this year, that's third in Division Two. What does it take to be an effective pass rusher, in your opinion? Just playing fast and physical, setting the tone every play. Uh, it's, I wouldn't be uh, having, I wouldn't have those sacks if it wasn't the players around me. I got a pretty good uh, defensive line. We got mm -hmm. ones and twos. We got Mika, Abe Thompson, and uh, Malik Hayes, and they, they play a good role in those sacks. For me. You know, Michael, for you, a kind of a breakout game. You had a career high 99 yards rushing, mm -hmm. your first multi touchdown game. Um, in particular, talk about that touchdown run you had, 53 yards in the fourth quarter, and that kind of sealed the win for us. Um, I have a great black enough front note, like Giovanni, the entire line, honestly, the tight ends as well. Um, the coaches caught a great play call at the last, like, it was, we caught a timeout previously, um, mm -hmm. teamed it up, we seen that they were blitz off the edges, and so uh, he called a great, a great scheme, and it, it hit down the, down the hashes that, as we practiced it all week, and then Again, at the, at the end of the day, I just, and my eyes got super bright. And I, just got the, I just ran as fast as I could. So. What's it like to find a seam like that and know that you just kind of have to outrace somebody to the end oh, zone? Oh, man, it's crazy. Cause, um, in high school, I was a sprinter. So, mm -hmm. like, I was a, I was a straight line speed type of guy. So, um, hitting those holes, those those are just – brings back uh, memories from just in like, high school, just hitting a hole and just going. Yeah. So. So you guys have a uh, Linden one coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, what are your, both your thoughts as seniors about playing in your final homecoming game? We'll start with you, Michael. Oh, man. Um, for me, the first homecoming game when it was the uh, first homecoming game here when we were here, mm -hmm. like, well, when I was here, it was just a scrimmage mm -hmm. between us because I was here, like, when we didn't have any games to now. It's three years now, and we haven't lost a homecoming game yet, so we're just trying to keep that trend going <laughs> and just uh, keep pushing on. You know, Lindenwood's offense is pretty powerful, Robert. So what do you guys have planned for them here this Saturday? Um, well, their offense is kind of matched like a Ferris, an Ashland. They mm -hmm. kind of rank with those teams. And so we just have to play fast. And uh, they're going to go a little up-tempo. And we just have to, we have to be in great shape. And uh, we have to be focused the whole four quarters because it's going to be a tough one. Thanks, guys. Good luck this week. Thank, Thank you. you.